Yeah. One more, a couple of these. No, that's All right. Hey, folks. Uh, welcome to uh, actually sunny, sunny London. But sunny is one word for it, Barry. Yeah. Sunny. Yesterday my life mm. was filled with pain. Uh, we've just finished filming Barshans. We're a little tired, but we are doing a bonus video for my channel. Thank you, Stuart, for joining me. You are most welcome. Nice to meet you. Uh, today we are going to be tasting some Peruvian treats. Yeah, indeed. I thought you said some perverted treats. I well, was quite excited, but... <laughs> that's a separate video altogether. Mm. Um, I've been sent some treats from Peru, but the only thing that I could think of with us being in London, Paddington originated in Peru. My, my daughter told me that. That I'm is entirely true. He Do you know the story? Deepest, darkest Peru. I thought he was just a bear that liked marmalade that lived in a train station. Where, where's, yeah. he, where's the Peru thing? He was born in Peru. Oh. That was is easy. That it? Yeah, is it? Well, really? Why is his name Paddington? That's quite British. Uh, because he was named after the station where he was found. So he's an immigrant? Yes. For his original name was something like. So shall we peruse? Hey! Peruvian banter over these treats. I've got a, le a letter first oh, of all. This is a nice little handwritten card. Dear Barry, I'm letting you know your bank account is over. Um, oh. From the bank, sorry. <laughs> Wrong yeah. one. Hello from Peru. I'm a big fan of your channel. I remember the first time I saw it. <laughs> really nice, kind words. Um, <laughs> thank you, Alexandra, for these delightful treats. They all look really nice, which they genuinely is a rarity do. for us. It's Normally we've gone is. off food. We eat food that we don't really know where it's come from, which is probably the case here, to be fair. But it's all sealed. Should we peruse? Let's. Let's dive. The first thing Ooh. we've got, I'm going to show this here to the camera. Inca corn. Mm. They look like um, bits of earwax, don't they? That's, that's not a nice thought. Earwax uh, I do like corn. This is very big corn. This is a, yeah, yeah. I, I think I like these too. They're very crunchy. They've got a salty tang. Let's see if we'll I can translate look. anything from it. It's been fried in some giant fried corn. Nice. Corn fried in corn. Yeah. Cornception. Corn squared. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward I to it. I want you to give me the first smell of my Peruvian box. All I can smell is Vaseline. <laughs> 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 we did a video the other today and I literally laid my hands with like, I basically am a tub of Vaseline, basically. Yep. I yep. am petroleum jelly. Yeah, somebody's got to be. Ooh, tangy. Yeah. Like I've got a little bit of Peru up my nose. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. No. Right. Try, try one. I certainly will, thank you. They do look like little toes. They're really nice. They are very they're crunchy. Not, they're not very spicy. No. I wouldn't have said I'm surprised. It says you know spicy chili. Yeah, whatever. not very chili picante. Mm. Chili picante. Pic Ooh. Mm. They're alright, but they do look like little toes. Look at that toenail sticking out. You could imagine that on a little Paddington pear figure. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> that really helps it go down. This is quite interesting. Oh, that's chocolate, isn't it? Clearly. Yes. Discover cacao suyo. Okay. Sounds like a nightclub. It does. Good mm. nightclub at that. Yeah. One of those ones where the bouncer isn't rude to you when you go in. No, because he, he's, he's being fed chocolate. Mm. Cacao soyo. Right. Are you just going to hit up cacao soyo? You know, the best kept secret of the Incas? The best kept secret of the Incas. I don't think that's a chocolate. No. <laughs> the best kept secret of the Incas, nobody knows about it. Because it's a secret. 40% cacao quinoa crunch. Or Ooh. quinoa. Quinoa? Quinoa. 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 quinoa that used do. to call it quinoa. It's like someone who knows about keys. Ah. True story. <laughs> Quinoa. <laughs> so it's like a character in the Matrix. <laughs> or uh. from the Bible, or Noah. Yeah, maybe yeah. Quinoa, yeah, yeah. He knew all about the keys, that guy. This marvellously nutritious whole grain of the Incas, known as quinoa, is lightly roasted, <gasps> deliciously complementing our 40% pure cacao milk chocolate. So this is a posh version of Dairy Milk Crunch with the cocoa pups on it. I sincerely hope so. Mm. Shall we peruse? Yes. Has it got a I sacrificed human being's heart in it? I'm going to give birth to it. Hang on. <laughs> that's an image I can't unsee. Sorry. Also, Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Mum. If you think that's gold, I'm slightly worried about you. Oh, it's kind of like a... Oh, it's quite gold, that poor side. Man's I apologise. Yeah. Gold. The other side, baby's diarrhoea colour. Yes. Mm. Or uh, leftover curry. Yeah. Mm. Not much difference between the two. No. Not in my fridge. I, I don't give babies curry sometimes. It's nice. Yeah, keep them quiet. I feel like Charlie in the chocolate factory. There's a golden ticket now. I've got Ooh, a golden good. ticket. This is really melted. Yes, yeah, slightly a mangled. Mess. <laughs> it's Joe Mangled. Look at the state oh of that. Oh my goodness. That used to be lovely, gorgeous blocks of ink. Has that been through a microwave and then a goat? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a little smell? Oh, it smells deep. You know? That's like Willy Ooh. Wonka. Yeah. And the chocolate factory turned up to 11. And you can see the, the uh, pieces of quinoa. In oh, the yes, yeah. Some little nuggets. I'm just going to eat it. OK. Yep. Posh dairy crunch. How much to it, is there? No, it's all right. I eat in mud. <laughs> well, it's better than, like... <laughs> the secret of the Incas. It was mud. <laughs> mud all Banter. along. Yeah. Mmm. Actually... Uh, there's a crunch there now. Yeah. It's mm. not that great a chocolate, though, I've got to no. say. 
It's not that sweet, but it's not dark enough to have a real sort of cocoa hit. It's end up a bit sort of nothingy. It's like a confused chocolate where they've just sort of just chucked in their leftovers at the end of the day. Yeah. But it's nice. Which would explain the shape of it as well. Let's switch back to something savoury. Now this should, I think, apparently be served quite um, hot. Oh, good. Now obviously we're not really supposed to. Put it armpit for a while. Or... Well, yeah, it's kind of like a hot, yeah, hot water bottle sort of styley. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to read the story. Papalo Juanca. Potato salad hawankina is a typical dish from dish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a typical dish from the coast and highlands of Peru. It was created using the construction of train tracks. What? When workers were given a potato dish served with a sauce, maybe cheese and yellow pepper. The sauce is normally served over boiled potatoes, then topped with hard-boiled eggs and olives. Sounds nice. The sauce, despite its creamy and rich consistency, is sneakily spicy. It's also served with cocktail potato over pasta or used as a dipping sauce for celery sticks, carrot sticks, and cherry tomatoes. Now I just thought I'd take the cheap option and just grab a carrot from my fridge. <laughs> and I thought we could just. I like... thought we were going to make a snowman. Well, um, yeah, we could do. So I've I've worked out is basically yeah cheese and something cream, mm. one caina, yeah. Uh, the rich flavour of the house or something. Well, oh, nice. It tastes do, like do you want me to open it up? Yeah. Actually, I've got a bowl here ready. It looks, from the uh, front of it, it looks quite like custard. Oh, imagine that. But it's... Those oh. Peruvians caught us out. Custard carrots. What does it smell like? Interesting. <laughs> what are you going to say? The internet? <laughs> it smells... Oh, crikey, that's cheese, isn't it? Yeah. It's Fromage. Yeah. Mm. Slightly worried about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Lush. Nice. Now I don't want to take it all out because I'm going to let you have some for your trip home. Yeah, to, thanks. To Norwich. Like, Norwich I look forward to that. Now we might have to. Oh, you snap the carrot for us. Yep. If I see a carrot, I snap it. You know me, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> they don't call him Stuart Carrot Snapper Ashton for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, Carrot Snapper. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. know it, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever wonder what Stuart does in his spare time, just snaps carrots. I'm slightly worried about this. It looks like toxic mustard. You made a little Donald Trump there. Look, <laughs> <laughs> <That> Griff. <laughs> I want to lick right. it first, like a lolly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do the same. Oh, I, I should have shaved my carrot, sorry. It's all right. It's, it's quite. It tastes very <laughs> Mediterranean vegetable y, very much like peppers or something. No, oh, that's cheese. There's some cheeses I don't like, Stuart, and that is. Ah. I like the cheese element, not so much the pepper element. It's very spicy as well. I have to eat it in the style of a rabbit, I'm sorry. Oh, it's mustardy or something. <clears throat> if it wasn't for the flavour of the peppers, I would really like that. It's okay. If you like cheese. Not a fan of it. How is eating Donald Trump? It was. The best. Just the best. All others aren't as good. Mm. Sad. There's nothing like washing down your carrots dunked in Trump with a nice wong. Ah. Oh, nice. Good bit of wong. So, Chuan de Donna Pepper, when it's school over. Wong Mas Calidad. Suave tradition. A typical dessert eaten everywhere in Peru. So my fear when I saw this box was like, oh my gosh, this is a cake we've got to maybe make mm. this. And to be honest, I haven't researched it any further than that, so it could just be that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Barry, isn't Mas Calidad most hot or something? Isn't that that Christmas song? Mas Calidad. Unas Feliz Navidad. Yeah. Um, I don't nice. know, what's Malikali? Malakad, Malakaladath. Ah, there's quality, story. yes. Is it? Yep. There's, a quali there's a story there, do you want to... When I try and... Uh, um, Turon de Doña Pepe is the typical dessert eaten everywhere in Lima during the purple month. Ooh. <laughs> and even though it can now be found year-round in big stores, it was originally prepared only in October and still is sold mostly in this month, like cream eggs. As the story tells, Josefa Mamanillo was a slave who had a strange disease that paralyzed her arms. This is because she ate this cake. No, this disease freed her from slavery, but at the same time left her unable to earn a living. She started attending the processions to ask for her health back, which she eventually did get. <laughs> Thanks for having my health back. And who took it? Who, who was hiding it? Was it, in, was it in a jar? And as a thank you gift, she created this sweet. So far, so good. Where the story starts becoming psychedelic, gonna be honest, pretty psychedelic already, mm. just look like the look of this candy, covered dessert, is in the part where she raised the dessert with her arms in one of the processions, and the Lord of Miracles smiled back at her and blessed the offering. What? Wow. She passed the tradition of preparing Turon for this special time of year to her daughters, granddaughters and generations to come. So, during the purple month, the Lord of Miracles will bless your cake. Well, what, what Lord, what month is that? 
Uh, October. Okay. And it's um, possibly. Oh, it's October's gone. But anyhow, look. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, a cake wow. in a box. Cake in a box. That's amazing. Cake, cake in, in a, a box. box. I've got a Peruvian cake in a box. It's very messy. How are we going to eat it? And it's called Wong, which sounds wrong. Um, mm. Hey, if that's Wong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, try and have a bit that hasn't touched the cheese. That's not a euphemism. Right. <laughs> right, there's a, there's a wrapper on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't think we should eat this bit. Yeah, there's a wrapper on it. There's a picture of Dr. Dre on a cake. There's Look a, at this. This is amazing. It's also the stickiest thing since the should Lord of Miracles. Should we leave that as like a holder? Yeah. Do you want to do Lady in the Tramp style? Do you want to take one side? Certainly. Out it? You go first. I'm going to put some really slow, intimate music on this. Ready? Oh, we're going to do it at the same time? Oh, yeah. Don't, don't go to, to the left or the right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I can't do that. That suddenly felt so wrong, but so right. Oh. It's not that great. It does taste like it's been in the box for a while. Mm, it tastes like wood. Mm. That tastes like sawdust. Mm. The sprinkles are nice. That's just like eating flour or powder yeah. or something. It's kind of half made, do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe that's the other step that we've got to do. Mm. Well, it was a lovely it's story. Not unpleasant at all, but no. it's not, not uh, something I would go for myself. Be like myself. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. This thing is wrapped you, Paul, a little. in a pink cloth or tissue, and it looks like a poo. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> in the nicest way. Now we're talking. I can't disguise it, guys. It looks like a pecan, pecan toffee. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Looks more like a, yeah, let's not get into that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pecan toffee, um, that's it. That sounds amazing. Do you want, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I could do with, um, do you, can you. Um, I'll, I'll attack the pecan take toffee. Take the poo out of the packaging. Remove the poo. I think this is gonna be really nice. Yeah, it sounds amazing. I like pecans. Mm -hmm. I like toffee. And that's all it is. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it's very soft, this. Is it? It's a soft poo. I can't tell what they're beneath. <laughs> oh, pecans! Ah, no, that yeah. makes sense. And we're having a, we're eating a stool sample, effectively, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, my Nutty. God. Nutty. That is beautiful. Taste. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm Paddington Bear surfing on a taste bud in the sea, in the Peruvian Ocean. Bizarre image. With my hat going like that, like Yeehaw Cowboy eating that in the other hand, going, yeah. This is better than marmalade, or whatever it is. That's really nice. That's, that's gorgeous. Mm. You can have that with your cheesy carrot. What is this, chocolate Meccano? Chocolate Meccano, yes. It's like a nut. Mm. Or bolt. Uh, Meccano, Costa, that's it. That's all it says on the back. It looks like it's full of caramel or something. I hope so. Oh no, it's perished. Oh. No, Meccano. It's, sort of, it's merged into a slab. Unless it's not, that looks like it's got, that has it's melted into a slab. Yeah. This must have got hot at some stage. I think package. so. Peru is quite hot, right? So I snap it. We've got a little bit of. Uh, Thanks. Caramel. I think those those holes there used to be where it uh, would have that been, would a... Have been a shape of Meccano. Yeah. Smells good, there. Nice. Ah, oh, nice. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. This is good. I now want to visit Peru. So we've got two King Kong San Roque's things, whatever they are. Made by the real King Kong. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Made by monkeys. So there's one there. Layers of cookie. And then there's layers of cookie with a lucuma caramel fill filling. They're very keen on the history. They've actually got photos of um, the, the people who founded the company. The story begins in late 1920s in the street San Roque, in the town of Labareque. There, an avid baker by the name of Victoria Major made a popular dessert at the time with a twist. Instead of just using one filling, she wanted to include other traditional flavours people would enjoy. The new creation was made in a rectangular mould and it was much larger than the traditional circular one. It was a success. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. This did get oh, the superior taste of it. The course. dessert was enormous. Each laid dessert weighed uh, over 4.4 pounds. The witty citizens didn't take long to compare the giant alpha jaw to the main character of a popular film at the time, featuring a great ape naming King Kong. Ah, That's where they come on. Makes sense. Oh, this is... Uh, is it vacuum sealed? It is. It yeah, literally mine too. is. Is that a wrapper again? Yeah, I was about to eat that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it? Yeah. No, it isn't. My, my oh, you got yours off? Yeah. I've got a second sheaf on mine. Oh, that's weird. I only, got, I only have a primary sheaf on mine. Oh, no, there is a second one, sorry. Ah. It just wasn't all the way around it. Oh, wow, look at it. It's like a confused sort of Lego set or something. <laughs> We've had Meccano, now we have Lego. That smells like poo. Sorry. Mine smells like caramel more than poo. Oh, yeah, caramel poo. Yeah. Marvellous. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, it's right. like a... A cracker that doesn't want to be a cracker. <laughs> a cracker with aspirations. Yeah. 
<laughs> it wants to be an accountant. Oh. But really, it's just a cracker. Oh. What happened? I don't know. The fruit taste of something has hit it. Oh, it's, it's faintly sour milky. I don't even, but I don't even know what a lacuma is. Lacuma matata. That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Such a wonderful poison. Oh, there's something deeply unpleasant about the aftertaste of this. Really? Mm. Let me try it. Can, can we swap? Mm. We'll do, do, a a on it. do a classic Kong swap. Mmm, I know what you mean. Mm. Kind of like what the aftertaste of an exhaust pipe. It was smoky. Mm. <laughs> mm. So the last thing we've got to taste. Purple corn. Purple corn. Purple corn. That was okay. uh, Prince's foot disorder. Was it? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, chips de maize mordo. Purple, purple corn chips. Purple corn chips. These go great with guacamole sauce or any of your favourite dips, really. Uh, we could try it with that cheesy dip. No, your favourite dips, Barry. Not Ooh. your least favourite. Yeah. So, I'm looking for purple crisps. Ooh. Ooh. Quite good. Smell? Yeah, it smells of corn. Oh, yeah. It smells like corn. And there it is. This Ooh, is literally perished. called Peru nachos. Just Are they? Yeah. Chips de maize morado. Somebody shot a hole in this one. <laughs> it's got a gunshot wound when it's trying to get out of customs. Bit of saltiness. I really like these. Tastes a bit like eating a crispy, dried skin, dead arm kind of thing, like, you know? Whereas you have more experience to that than I do, yeah. to be fair. Tastes like dead skin. It's like you've no scratched joke. a bit of uh, dead skin off your leg and had a bit mm. of a munch on it. Yeah, like really mm. rolling it down. Mm. Casual little whiff when you're not looking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and munched on it. These That's are really personal nice. Personal joke. I really like these. You do? Well, congratulations, Stuart, you've won them. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Well, my favourite thing out of all of it, I think, was that um, the poo bar, this thing. Yeah, the poo bar was that good. That was absolutely sensational. My favourite thing is actually this, then the poo bar. Why don't you have both together? Because that wouldn't work, Barry. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so uh, thank you so much, Stuart, for joining me in this Peruvian taste explosion. Most welcome. I'm just crunching loudly to annoy the people <laughs> listening in <laughs> yeah. on the microphone. Make sure you get a good crunch down that mic so I can try and edit it out. Mm. Um, if you've got any treats from around the world, wherever you are, I've done like 35 of these now. Not that I'm counting. Yeah, I've done crazy countries like England and, and Wales. Oh, it's been, crazy, man. Oh. Uh, so if you want to send me a box, uh, get in touch um, and I'll, I'll talk to you over direct message. All right.